uh, general management principles uh, since it is you know uh, it is largely linked with uh, allergic tendencies so and patients will have recurrent episodes uh, many times it will start early in life and it will you know continue uh, may continue in patients all their lives so it is important to achieve good symptoms control and minimize future risks risks of exacerbation so if somebody has you know episode of uh, you know coughing or uh, shortness of breath once or twice you know, two years or one year may be acceptable for the patients but at times patients may have symptoms every month every second week and such situations becomes a limitation in day to day life or practice so overall goal is to give patient a good quality of life freedom from the symptoms and for this one is treatment of uh, the underlying inflammatory situation and second uh, we also have to prescribe uh, give uh, advices for prevention of uh, acute exacerbations so uh, these are both pain pharmacological and non pharmacological lifestyle modifications we will talk about it a bit more later on and it is a long term condition so long term condition means you know patients will come back to you repeatedly uh, you know uh, because of the recurrent episodes and every time you should provide relief and then only it is a ongoing relationship between a family physician or provider and the patient if we are not able to control symptoms timely or as per the expectations of the patients patient may want to consult other you know health care provider rather specialist doctors or other uh, you know may want to take second opinion or may want to visit thinking that you know their illness of serious nature uh, even while it can be managed in a complicated way so uh, winning confidence of patients is very important and if we explain this situation sufficiently to the patient why this is happening to you know to a family member from a family why it is uh, you know reoccurring and how we can uh, control the symptoms how we can prevent future exacerbations this all counseling has to be given to the patients and family adequately so that they understand fully and whenever there is a situation where they need advice an expert advice they come back to you and then you can continuously give them Uh, advice treatment referral whatever is required as per the given situation so it is a long term condition and there has to be a partnership between the patients and the healthcare providers and we have to be mindful of the patient choices and in the beginning itself i talked about patient centered care so patient centered care is you know involving patient in the you know treatment decisions also many times you know we may want to prescribe for example uh, inhaler but the perceptions of the patient or the family you know may be different from what uh, our understanding is you know we understand that you know if we give inhaler or steroid in form of inhaler it is a very low dose it has very good anti inflammatory effect and it does not have major side effects it can be taken on long term but many times patients or families may see as see it's uh, something you know liability at times stigma because carrying uh, a, you know inhaler in public in your bag or using it in office or press a school uh, you know uh, may you know uh, may uh, give a perception of patients being you know sick or not well or having a limitation uh in their day to day life in their school workplace offices and community so they may not want to use inhaler and sometimes patient may also have perception that inhalers are addictive and once you use inhaler you are addicted and you are always dependent on uh, such device and, and then they they, they may not want to use it so uh you know cap- capacity or you know counseling to explain all the pro cons and uh, you know explaining fully and making patients partner in the decision 
uh, of treatment is very very important so that the acceptance of the treatment is there and they understand that you know one can live normal life symptom free with this you know minimal intervention if they do not take this advice intervention they may land up into you know serious conditions and they may need multiple hospitalizations and sometimes it may be life threatening also so you know a child uh, you know uh, school informed or prepared with a situation which may you know land up into breathing discomfort in a school and if the school knows about it and you know many times they will be able to save lives and similarly you know carrying medicines in your own bag or in your own you know travel kit is important life saving when you need it so rather than hiding such things or you know fearful of stigmas and all we have to explain all these things to patients and uh, therefore the patient's preference of treatment ability to use inhaler correctly this i will talk later again side effects i mean all medicines have are prone to have some you know side effects or some adverse effect or some unpleasant experience and when patients come back to you you do not force it you have to listen to the patients and you know advise them alternative if possible and then you know uh, patient are more compliant to your advices and then the outcome is better so uh, to summarize uh, it is very important to give patient symptom free life prevent any future exacerbation any severe incidence of you know life threatening conditions uh, develop a long term partnership in terms of you know managing episodes of you know illnesses and respecting patient's preferences in terms of choice of treatment you know they in terms of you know giving them injectables or medicines in tablet forms medicines in you know inhaler form or in nebulizer form all these things you know different patients will have different perspectives and we have to you know uh, uh, you know kind of match their expectations with what actually is required for their you know, given situation so this is very very important from family physicians perspective because we have to counsel from all aspects and many times when patients have episodic uh, experience at hospital uh, uh, you know they may be explained but they you know many times they are not explained properly you know, what will happen next because the hospital experience is often uh, you know transactional you know when you have problem you go to hospital but when you don't have problem you don't go to hospital but the relationship with the family physician a family medicine expert is ongoing it is a continuity of you know uh, you know and you know what patient their family history and all so you are more likely to address those uh, concerns uh, better perspective 